hyperwave, when it finally concludes, will conclude with a 60 to 70% correction. Could you imagine the carnage of a 70% correction in the S&P? It would be devastation. It would be absolutely horrendous. But if this hyperwave structure continues, not good, not sustainable. You need a real market correction to reset all of the fake money and fake liquidity and fake value that's built into a hyperwave. Same thing with the NASDAQ. It's just hyperbolic. It can continue, but when it peaks, it's going to crash hard. Look at the dollar. Everything is doing really well with the dollar. All of gold is doing well. S&P is doing well. NASDAQ's doing well. And the dollar is doing well. Something's got to break. Something has to break. So with this hyperwave theory, I think we could have kind of a more traditional financial market crash where it's, you know, your financial crisis, your dot-com bubble, those types of crashes. Um, and I think Bitcoin is not immune to that. It's not immune to that. So if Bitcoin finds itself in that scenario where you've had a blow-off top in the traditional markets and we're in an extended bear market in traditional markets, uh, Bitcoin's going to break the four-year cycle, but it's just going to break it by extending it to an eight-year cycle or a 10-year cycle.